Hello, I hope you're well. Thank you for joining me. This is a viewer question video, so let's just go ahead and jump into the question. Hi, I was wondering how to set up an external reset button for Arduino. P.S. You look like a complete drunken monkey. Well, thanks for the question. I think that's a great question, and that's what this tutorial is going to talk about. So first we're going to talk about why you might want to build an external reset button for your Arduino. We'll talk about the components you need to build the circuit. We'll set up just the extremely simple circuit that it is, and uh, then we'll talk about why you don't need any code at all to implement the reset button, but we will take a look at, at a piece of code just to make sure the circuit's working. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into what you need. So you'll need one momentary push button, at least two jumper wires, you'll need an Arduino board, a breadboard, and a light wool sock. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up this circuit. Again, it is extremely easy. All you're going to be doing is taking a jumper wire from the reset pin on the Arduino to one side of the push button. And on the other side of the push button, you're going to connect a jumper to ground on the Arduino. So that, uh, that's about as simple as it gets. So what's going on here exactly? Well, what we're doing is when we press that button, the reset pin is going to see low voltage, or ground voltage, that is. And according to the documentation on the Arduino web page, it says we have to bring that line low and it will reset the microcontroller. So that's pretty much it. When we're not pressing the button, that reset pin is in its normal state. And when we press the button, it takes it to low voltage, and then that low voltage tells the microcontroller, that chip, to go ahead and do a reset. Now, if you look at the documentation uh, on the data sheet for the uh, microcontroller that the Arduino uses, at least the Uno and most other ones, it'll say that you need to apply low voltage for a minimum of two microseconds. Well, that's really quick, so pretty much just pressing the button, you're going to be good. So why would you want to use an external reset button in the first place if your Arduino has a push button right on top of it? Well, it really comes down to access. You might not be able to get your fingers to touch that, that little button. And usually the, the reason is, there's two reasons. You may have a shield that's sitting over top of the Arduino that kind of restricts access to that button, or it just could be a pain in the butt to reach. Now most shields today, they're going to have a reset button right on top of them anyway. That'll work just as fine, so that's not as, as much of an issue. Um, but there's still plenty of shields that don't have that reset button, so that's one good reason. Uh, the other issue is if you've mounted your Arduino in some type of enclosure, and then again, it's kind of hard to get to the reset button because of the way it's been positioned in the enclosure. There's another reason you might want to have a reset. So those are two good reasons to use a reset. So if you ever have to do it, it's good to know how. Okay, so I said, uh, if you recall, I said you don't need any code to implement that reset. It's just intrinsic in the hardware. When you press that button, the microcontroller is going to reset. It's just how the Arduino board has been set up um, physically. But if we want to test the circuit, um, make sure it's working, I just wrote a really simple sketch. And you can get this sketch at the Open Source Hardware uh, website. If you go to opensourcehardwaregroup.com, how to use an external reset button with Arduino, just look down below this video. You'll find it in the description, this link. So here's the sketch, and we'll just go ahead and jump into void setup. You see I've got uh, only one line in void setup, and that's serial.begin. So that's the begin function from the serial library, and the baud rate is set at 9600, which is just kind of the standard rate. And so the reason we need to do this is if we're going to send any information across the serial port, which is essentially the USB connected right now to the Arduino, then uh, we need to have the begin function from the serial library. So I'm going to be uh, writing information to the serial port so that I can see it on my computer. We'll do a serial monitor. All right, so that's all I've done in setup. And then in void loop, this is kind of where I define, well, what is it I'm gonna, I want to look at? Well, I want to check the time. So I've got an integer, and I've named the variable time. I've set it equal to millis, this function millis, divided by 1,000. So what millis does when you call the millis function, or if you when you invoke it, what it does is it returns the number of milliseconds that the program has been running, or the Arduino has been running. So every time you upload a sketch, 
to Arduino, what happens is your Arduino board resets. So anytime you upload a sketch to your Arduino, your Arduino board physically resets. And the same is true when you press the reset button. And so what that does is that resets the clock on the, on the Arduino board. So anytime you call that MILLIS function, you're going to get the time from the last reset or the last upload. So that's what I wanted to view on the serial monitor was the time from the last reset. So I knew that, so that I would know my external button was working. And then all I do is I just print a couple things to the serial port. So I just says, I was reset, and then I have the time printed. And again, the time is millis divided by a thousand. That's going to give me the seconds, since millis, that function returns milliseconds. And then I do a print line and I say seconds to go, and then uh, just make a reference here to the space odyssey will you stop dave i am afraid and then i delay a second all right so let's go ahead and i'm going to open up the serial monitor okay so i just uploaded so it says i was reset zero seconds ago one second two second three seconds okay whatever now i'm going to press the button and we have a pause and now you can see it reset and again, I'm pressing the external button. Trust me, I did press. I didn't press the Arduino button. It wouldn't make a difference, but um, so I'll press it again, make sure it's working. And it, uh, you know what? Look at there. It doesn't record that. Oh, there it goes. It says, there's the zero seconds right there. Um, so that first line can sometimes be a little uh, funky. So there you have it. There is setting up an external reset button for your Arduino. Again, this code, if you want to run the sketch, is available on the Open Source Hardware Group website. I hope it was helpful. Have a great day. Bye.